Hello, Sean and your cousins and your friends. This is Avi back for a quick message about Resurrection Sunday, which we celebrate today, and what it all means. So a long time ago, even before hobbits, the sons of Israel lived in Egypt by God's plan. After they were there for 400 years, God decided that it was time for them to go back to their homeland, the land we call Israel today, the land that he had promised to Abraham. They called it the Promised Land. Now, the king of Egypt at the time, they called him the Pharaoh, did not want them to go back because he was using them against their will to build his great projects. But God was much more powerful than Pharaoh, of course. He just didn't realize it. To get the Pharaoh to let his people go, God sent plagues to them. The last one led to the celebration of Passover, which was ha we celebrated just last week. In that celebration, the children of Israel offered up and made a family meal of a pure lamb and put its blood on the outside of their door to show the angel of God that they were inside and that they believed God's promise. This lamb of God saved God's people from the last judgment against Egypt. Many, many years later, in the time of Jesus, those who followed him came to learn from his teachings and actions that he was the great Lamb of God, sent by God himself to save those who believe in him from the great judgment or punishment for not being kind to one another or remembering who God is. The Bible tells us in John 3.16, and I bet some of you guys already know this, don't you? We read, God so loved the world that he sent his only son, Jesus, or Yeshua, that whoever believes in him or puts their trust in him will not suffer God's punishment, but live forever with him in heaven. Now that is quite a promise. It is a promise that began with the birth of Jesus, which we celebrated at Christmas, a promise that Jesus explained to us while he lived and taught in the promised land, and a promise that ultimately led to him dying on the cross on the hill we call Calvary during the Passover celebration the time that the people of Israel remembered and celebrated that event so long ago in Egypt. Now, people did not understand all that Jesus had taught them and got very sad and worried because Jesus died and was buried. It seemed that the promise he told them about would never happen because now the one who told them about it lay dead in a grave. A lot of people are like that, aren't they? They see bad things that happen, but don't understand the big plan that God has and the promises that he's made. But God had a way to prove that he would fulfill his promise to us, even though Jesus lay in the grave. Some of you know what happened, don't you? Right. God raised him up out of his grave. He was alive after having died. And he walked around Israel to show and showed himself to his friends and his relatives to prove to them that God was able to and will fulfill his promise to them that they could live with him in heaven forever. And they were sent out by him to tell the rest of the world this wonderful great news. That is why Resurrection Sunday is so important and the happiest day of the year. God made us a promise that goes all the way back to the first Passover so long ago and found its fulfillment on Calvary and in an empty tomb. Now you know the story of Resurrection Sunday and why this is the happiest day of the year because God proved that not only could he make a promise, he would fulfill it. And what greater proof is there than somebody getting up out of the grave and telling everybody about it. I love you all. Take care and God bless you and have a good Resurrection Sunday.